Hi, I'm Helen and today we're going to be exploring maps using contours. Now for our messy activity, we're going to be making salt dough mountains. You'll need a bowl, some flour, and then half the amount of salt and a little bit of water. There is a recipe for the exact amounts on the Carbon Theatre website, so don't worry if you get a little confused. You'll also need some food colouring. Okay, so I'm going to start by popping my flour into the bowl. And then I'm going to add my salt and stir it through. Okay, this feels really nice. And now I'm going to pour the water carefully into a bit of a well in the middle. Mix it in a bit. And if you use the recipe, you should find that your dough will come together quite easily. Give it a really good mix. Okay, so depending on your flour, it might still be a little bit dry. You don't want it to be sticky, but you, this, if it's not coming together, you might need to add a little bit more water. Let it get right in there. And don't worry, if you do overdo it with the water, you can always add just a little bit more flour and salt. Now that's all together in one solid ball. We're all done, so we can put our bowl aside and we're going to break the mixture into five sections. But because you're making contours, you want to make sure the first section is big, bigger than the others, and then they just get smaller. Okay, so we've got five, five sections and I'm gonna color some of them. So now I'm gonna pop a few drops of this liquid food color in right into the middle of the dough and then I'm gonna fold it up around it. And then you need to give it a really, really good knead. You'll start to see strips of the color coming through. It's a bit of a workout. I think that's gonna need a bit more color, so I'm gonna drop a little bit more in there. Just depends how bright you want it to be. Okay, and I'm gonna fold the dough around that again. So you can keep working the food colouring through if you want it to be just a solid colour or you can stop because you can see it's got really lovely swirls just like the landscape. Okay, so that one's ready and I'm going to add some blue food colouring to my third ball of dough. I'm just going to do one last colour a small bowl of dough. I'm going to use a yellowy orange. Now you can also, if you'd like, you can, and you've got some, um, just make sure you're really, really careful with it and you have a grown-up to help you. You can use essential oils to make the dough smell really, really nice as well. Obviously, this activity is taste safe, but we don't recommend that you eat any of it, especially not in large quantities. So we're going to start with the biggest piece and I'm going to do it on a paper plate so I've got a nice sturdy base but you could use some card or, or anything anything that's nice and firm so you're going to press it in and it's got nice squidgy texture but don't don't worry if it's a little bit bumpy because that's just like a mountain and all the rocks okay and when you're happy with that we're going to move on to the next layer and then when you've got it roughly the right shape you can press it into the next one again when you're happy with that you're going to move on to the next biggest ball of dough and now the crowning glory we've got the last piece and you can see the orange is really really coming out I'm going to pop that right on the top there and that's it there you go. So you can experiment with making these. Like I said, you can make them much flatter, really, really explore the landscape. It will take about 24 hours to get touch dry and then three days to dry completely. So try not to poke it too much. So that's it for this activity. 
Don't forget to sign up to be a sensory explorer on the Carbon Theatre website and you can also check out our Sensory Sounds music video to help you explore the topic and make it even more theatrical. See you next time. Bye.